Hey, a pleasure to be everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be another short hockey video on a player around the league, this time Brandon Montour, and how he's having a solid, nice, successful early start to his season in 21 games, which is a nice handful sample size, not necessarily analytically for the analytics crowd, but just filling his role nicely of being an offensive puck possessing, push the play up the ice defenseman, and he's done that nicely. But if you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. Really appreciate the 162 of you that have this far to help us meet our subscribe goal, getting two over it of the 160 for November. Let's make the subscribe goal 167. That's a nice sweet number. I love the number seven. So that's at the end of that one. They're 167 to try to get to by December 15th, but let's get into Brandon Montour. He has two goals and eight points, or eight assists for 10 points, excuse me. He's a plus two. His offensive zone start is a 70.6. That's a stat that obviously can be skewed a little bit. It's not a perfect stat to look at by any stretch of the imagination. I agree with people that make that argument, but being at 70.6% is ridiculous when your career is at 52.2, and that's well above league average. Uh, Corsi 4, um, percentage at 57.8 when he's usually at 49.8 so he's really going above the career highs there for the offensive numbers as well as goals over 60 84 percent and assists over 60 which takes into account where he is with his peers in 5v5 play for goals and assists goals over 60 is 84 percent so that's really good and then assists over 60 is 70 percent so that's pretty good obviously when it comes to the pk and when it comes to um defense efficiency, he's going to be really bad, which brings his analytic stats to a bad overall sum, but when it comes to all his offensive stuff, goals over 60, assists over 60, he's really good, because that's exactly what the hell Brandon Montour is supposed to do, where that's why I feel some analytics players kind of, you can't use analytics the way if they're doing their job, because he's a guy that fits into that category, where Brandon Montour is a player that you just expect to be a puck-possessing defenseman, a guy that can push the play a little bit, and nothing more than that, if you got him expecting more than that, then you just had a naive pickup expecting to get more out of the former second round pick 55 overall um, there by the Anaheim Ducks. He's a guy that can push the puck up the ice, he can get some assists for you, and he can obviously get some goals for you as well with nine being the most he's had in his career. He's more of a puck pushing, assist making defenseman offensively that can possess the puck and makes the defensive mistakes that you see the goals despairs of the world and he make as well because he's more of an offensive zone defenseman than he is a defensive like the Keith Yandles of the world, make those mistakes. But he's doing his role nicely. He has 10 points in 21 games. He's a plus two. His offensive zone start is ridiculous. His goals above 60, ridiculous, and assists above 60 for 5v5, absolutely ridiculous. And you just want him to look good when you add him to your team in the offensive category. You don't add Brandon Montour to your team expecting him to be this defensive wizard or this um, full 200-foot wizard on defense that's like a Ryan Ellis that plays really good um, offensively, can move the puck up the ice, but also plays a very solid, underrated defensive game when healthy. That's never been Brandon Montour. He's always just been a puck-pushing, um, possessing defenseman that can get you good assist numbers, and he's going well above his career highs in Corsi 4 and Ozone start right now, as well as obviously goals above 60 and assists above 60, being in a really good spot amongst his peers for those offensive numbers. So he's doing exactly what you want him to do panning out big time offensively, being a big time pickup for the Florida Panthers as he got to get out of Buffalo and got to move on and be able to find success in Florida where he has been on a line um, part of the time with uh, Lucas Carlson who's played in six games but also others as well and he's been able to play well while there's with Forsling, Carlson, or whatever, he's been able to fit in well nicely and be the offensive puck-pushing possession defenseman down there, and that's all you need him to do. So this has been a video on Brandon Montour and just how he's had a nice little successful start to the season, bouncing back from his time in Buffalo, in Florida, after he looked pretty solid when he played 12 games in Florida last season, now in his first full season with Florida in 21, is filling his role nicely, which if you expected him to look sexy analytically and look sexy defensively, then that was a naive expectation. He's one of those guys you have to look outside of the analytics stats. Is he having good possession numbers? Is he pushing the puck up the ice? Is he having good offensive ability to be able to add to your team? And that is what he's showing just like he did in his Ducks days. And that's what he's shown with the Florida Panthers. So kudos to him to have a great start of the season. Hopefully it continues to him and he can revive his career and have a hell of a career continuing on from the start with the Ducks down there in Anaheim after having struggle bunny time in Buffalo. Peace or down there in Florida um, after having struggled bunny time in Buffalo. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and kudos to Montour for the great start.